Hello, welcome, Mr. Jose Ezequiel. Hello, Mr. Mauricio. Hello, Sandra. Hello, Andrea Amalia. How are you today, you guys? Hi. Um, hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? Hello, Miss. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, Good evening, how are you today? Please. Let's wait a little bit for the other ones, okay? Vamos a esperar unos segundos por los demás, okay? So we can start with the class. Hello, Jorge Antonio. Hello, lady. Hello. Hello, did you? Hello, how are you? Hello, Abigail. How are you today? Hello, Hello good evening. Mm -hmm. How are you, Miss Lady? I think, Miss. Nice, that's great. Okay, so let's start. It's already three minutes. So let's start and continue with English for our program. Uh, this is basic module number four, as you know, as you know sorry. Uh, my name, uh, one more time, it is Lizette Rosmila Alvarado Martinez. And today it is Thursday, October 27, 2022. And so we are going to continue with today's class in unit number two, online ordinance and refounds, right? And so the specific objective Today we are going to talk a little bit about would like and also would like and would woods like just that. Okay, uh, we are going to practice a little bit of that and. Um, Yes, and you're going to report a problem, I guess, yeah, and with the company, so yes. So to start, okay, to, to start today's class, we are going to do a little bit of guessing. How is this guessing? So you are going to see four pictures and you have to tell me what's the word, okay? So, and you have to use may or might, okay? Tienen que utilizar may or might. Por ejemplo, uh, vamos a ver la primera. So I have this, I have this, and I have this. <laughs> okay, so it may be chocolate, right? It can, no, but it's not chocolate because it has the little poop thing. Uh, what it can be? What do you think? Hmm? It might be. What do you think it, it could be? Hmm? So, what do you think it could be? ¿Qué creen que es la palabra si tienen estas cuatro imágenes? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Nothing? I'm going to give you one idea. It starts with the letter B. Empieza con la letra B. Mm -hmm. 
What do you think is the word? I'm sorry, Miss Lady? Brown. Okay, it might be brown. Let's see. Yeah, it is brown. Al momento de decir la respuesta, lo que quiero que hagamos es que tratemos de utilizar el may y el might, porque recuerden que era para posibilidades, ¿verdad? Entonces, para, por eso quiero que lo utilicemos. Vamos a ver, mm. next picture. Hmm. The pictures here are these. What do you think it could or it might be the word? What do you think? Uh -huh. What do you think? Mr. Mauricio, Miss Abigail, why are you so quiet today? Uh -huh. Jorge, Jose Ezequiel, Lady. Uh -huh. Maybe a star. Okay, it could be a star. Let's see. Yes, very good. It's a star. Excellent, Miss. Okay, let's see next pictures. Okay, what do you think it could be the answer? Uh -huh. hmm. Cuatro imágenes tienen una relación. So, uh -huh. Can be, uh -huh. no, may, may be, eh, verdad? Uh -huh. It may be. Uh -huh. Maybe yellow. Okay, let's see. No, it's not yellow. It may be maybe butter. Butter. Yes, very good. It's butter. Like butter, butterfly, butter, and also peanut butter, sorry, and maybe I don't know, popcorn, what it has to do with this one. But anyways, let's see next one. Hmm. What do you think? It could be the word. <laughs> Maybe it's married. Married. Mm. No. George. Maybe sure. Mm -hmm. Let's see if it is church. Yay, very good, excellent job. Let's see, next one. What about this one? What do you think it could be the word? ¿Cuál creen que puede ser la palabra en estas, con estas imágenes? Maybe it's green. Okay, let's see. No, not green. Mm -hmm. Another one. Another idea, everybody. Mm, the first letter is E or L? L. It's an L. Maybe it's letters. Letters. Mm, no, I don't know. It's not letters. It's not letters. Any other word? Or any other idea that you have? Oui. Maybe it's leader. Leader. Hmm. No, it's lips. Okay. Lips like hojas and also like uh, go to some places. Okay. That's the word. But good try, everybody. Let's see. Next one. Okay. We have this. What do you think it might be? Maybe time. Chine? Chine? China, China. <laughs> ah, China. Okay. Yes, very good, Miss. Thank you. Let's see this one. What do you think? Maybe it's games. Game. Game? 
No. Play. Can be lucky. Look. Can be lucky. Yes, it's lucky. Very good. Mm -hmm. Lucky. Suerte. Okay. Let's see another one. Huh. Okay, so let's see. Uh -huh. What what it, do you think it's like the word here? Living. I'm sorry? Maybe living. Let's see. Yes, very good. Good job, mister. Let's see next one. Uh-huh. Maybe honey. honey. Yellow. Uh, yellow. No, it's not. Honey. Honey. Uh, honey. Yeah, honey. it's honey. honey. Very good job, everybody. Let's see. Uy, 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 uy. One more. Okay, and this will be the next one. Maybe uh -huh. white. 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 Yes, it's white. Very good. Okay, what about this one? What do you think? Italy? Italy, no. Maybe pizza? pasta. Let's see. No. Maybe it's pizza. pizza. <laughs> no, it's pizza. It's yes, a piece. Pizza. No, it's pizza. <laughs> It's peas, but good try. Good try. Si sí podía ser pizza, porque, bueno, dos tienen similar, like, figures, right? But no, it's peas. Okay, now, very good so far, everybody. Wow, doing the practice, okay? Now, uh, in next activity that I have for you, because there are so many, I have so many. Oh, my goodness. Okay, but before we do the next activity, I'm going to do attendance section, okay? So, please say presente, okay? Wait a second. Okay, say presente. Abigail Mejía. Andrea Amalia. Tania Lisbeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Dilce Amilet. Uy. Present teacher. Thank you. Esmeralda del Carmen. Miss Esmeralda, are you there? Or no? Oh no, maybe maybe she's sick though. Then eh, Francisco Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you. Jorge Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Ezequiel. Mr. Jose Ezequiel, but he was right there. Mr. Jose? I said, yes. Hello, I am mentioning you. Ah, problemas aquí, sorry. Ah, okay. Eh, Juan José. Eh, Kenia Elizabeth. Lady Xiomara. Present teacher. Thank you. Mauricio Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Thank you. Rebeca Guadalupe. Present. Thank you. Sandra Abigail. Present. Thank you. Sandra Patricia. Present teacher. Thank you. Stephanie Michel. Present teacher. Thank you very much, everybody. And for doing this um, is attendance section. Okay, let's go with the next one. And the next activity that I have for you. Okay, wait a second. We know this one. Okay, so the next activity that I have for you is again a little bit bambalous. Okay, so in this case, you are going to choose a number. Okay, and according to the number, you will say a word. It's not a sentence, it's a word. Sorry that I put sentence. And so, uh, depends on the number and also the letter because you will see some letters. Okay, so I'm going to call to some of you, voy a llamar a varios de ustedes, and you will have to choose a number and then say a word. Like, for example, Mr. Mauricio, what number would you like to try? Number two. Number two. Okay, D is for what? D is for. Mm. 
La palabra quiere que le diga. No. Ah, ya, ya, ya. Dead. For? Dead. Dead. <laughs> okay, very good, mister. Thank you. Let's see next one. Miss Sandra, tell me. Miss Sandra? Number five. Just... Okay, five. Let's see. Okay, C is for? C is for? What word comes to your mind if you see the letter C? Case. I'm sorry? Case. Keys. But keys no. with the letter C? No. Case. Case. Like case, like for the cell phone? Yes. Ah, okay. Yes, very good, Miss. Thank you. Okay, let's see now. Miss Abigail Bonilla. Six. Six, okay. Z is for? Zoo. Zoo, very good. Excellent, Miss. Thank you. Okay, let's go. Next one. It would be Miss Rebecca. What number would you like to try, Miss Rebecca? Seven. Okay, number seven. L, Miss Rebecca. L is for light. I'm sorry, one more time. L is for light. Ah, amazing. Very good. Thank you. Let's see next one. It would be Miss Dania. What number would you like to try, Miss Dania? One. One. Okay. G. G is for? Good. <laughs> Can you tell me one verb? Um. Uh huh. A verb? Can you tell me one verb, please? Go. <laughs> exactly, Mr. Thank Go. you. <laughs> 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 Go, get, right? Yes, amazing. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Next one. It would be Miss Michelle. Tell me what number, Miss? Three. Three. Okay. Oh, another number, Miss, please? Ten. Ten. Okay. H. Hmm. H. One. Uh huh. <laughs> Love me. I think H. Mm hmm. Home. Okay, can you, one verb. Can you can you think of a verb? Yes, but I don't know. <laughs> okay, that's yes. okay. Uh huh. What, sir? Help. Can you help. Okay. Yes. Help. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Mister. Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's see next one. It would be Miss Dilcia. What number, Miss Dilcia? Number four. Number four. Okay. X, ooh, miss, this is a little bit difficult, miss, it's, yeah, but you can do this, okay? Tell me. Um, a ver. X, X, X is for? Mm -hmm. Any word, it doesn't matter if it is a verb, no importa que si es un verbo, no importa, like anything. Mm -hmm. What about the other ones? Uh, X-ray. Uh -huh. X-ray. Mm -hmm. Yes, very good. Thank you. But thank you for trying this, okay? Let's see, Miss Lady. What number? 11. 11, okay. W. Oh, my goodness, Miss. Uh -huh. Win. Yes, very good, Miss. Win, ganar, right? <laughs> Amazing. Let's see next one. Elizabeth Pineda. What number, Miss? Um, nine. Nine. Uh, mm -hmm. why? Oh, oh my goodness, Miss. <laughs> why is mm -hmm. four? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> what? Sorry. Yes. <laughs> there, 
why is for what? Yeah. <laughs> yes. No, you know, I'm gonna. Bote, bote, sir. Bote, sir. Johnny. Yellow. Yellow. Ah, <laughs> uh, yellow. <laughs> but you can also say John. John is bostezar. Es el verbo bostezar. John. Bostezar. Ajá. Uh -huh. Or Johnny. Ajá. Uh -huh. Bostezando. Así se, así se dice. Y es un verbo con Y. Very good, mister. Wow. That's great. Very good, miss. <laughs> Thank you. Let's see, Mr. Francisco. What number? Mr. Francisco? Sorry, sorry. It's, oh, a, no. it's a, uh -huh. a number eight. Number eight. Number eight. Okay, eight, eight. and is for <laughs> <laughs> what verb or any uh, like word? Neck or the neck is a mm -hmm. neck. And bear is a, a neck and bear is a knee. 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 No, knee. but knee te necesita, right? Yes, teacher. Exactly. Porque yo estaba escuchando need, pero pensé coser. Hmm. No, no, no but need. Uh, hi, sir. Very good. Thank you. Jorge Antonio. Welcome. What? 15, teacher. 15. Okay. Q. Q. Uh huh. <gasps> <laughs> Quality. Equality, yes, Mr. Very good, thank you. Mr. Jose Ezequiel. Yes, teacher, 12. 12, okay. You. Useless. <laughs> okay, amazing, thank you. Let's see, next one, it would be Mr. Juan Jose. What number, Mr.? Sixteen. Sixteen, okay. Now another number. Fourteen. Fourteen, okay. Oh, another. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, this one, yes, mister. <laughs> jump. Okay, jump, jump. Jump. Exactly, very good. Thank you, mister, amazing. Okay, that was perfect that you mentioned all of the things that I asked for about the words. And yesterday, as you remember, we were talking about some important things, right? That are, uh, well, obviously um, important when we buy things. Um, like what? Porque del medio no se puede. Uh -huh. What things we want to take into account when we buy something? Uh -huh. What are some things that we do into account when we buy something? Uh -huh. What things? ¿Qué cosas tomamos en cuenta cuando compramos un producto? Ahí estamos hablando de varias cosas, pero which ones were those? Price. I'm sorry? Price. Okay. Price. Okay, price. What else? Quality? Quality. Quality, yeah. Very good. And what the else? Brand. Uh -huh. The brand, yes. Very good. What else? Warranty. Warranty, yes. Very good. And we were talking yesterday about, uh, for example, we can have a, the... What would be the word? Satisfaction, right? Dissatisfied, very satisfied. We have the quality. What uh, type of qualities do we have? Mm -hmm. What type of quality do we have? Excellent, very good. Low quality. Low quality, uh huh. Very low quality. Mm -hmm. High quality. High quality. Average. Yeah. Average. And then we have the value. Y después teníamos el valor, vea que era excellent, 
Good, eh, poor, 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 eh, poor, very poor, poor, and very poor, exactly, right? And yes, very good. So yesterday we were studying a little bit of that. Today we are going to continue always talking about products, right? But here it says, I have a question for you. Uh, what would you do for the customer if a product you offer is not in good condition? If, imagine that you are selling, like for example, a cell phone and the cell phone doesn't work. What would you do? Imagínense que ustedes están vendiendo un teléfono y el teléfono no funciona. It's not in a good condition. Está en buenas condiciones. What would you do? ¿Qué harían? ¿Qué le, qué, qué le dirían a este, a, este, a este cliente, customer? Uh -huh. uh, I could uh -huh. maybe uh, change the product. Ah, change the product or exchange the product? Mm -hmm. Si ustedes estuvieran vendiendo un producto, recuerden. Y... Y esta persona, ok, so estás, tú estás ofreciendo algo en in bad conditions. What would you do? ¿Qué tú harías? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The another, the send to maintenance. Ok, send to man maintenance. Maintenance. Mm -hmm. Of offer. Another product? Ah, offer another product? Refund money. Ah, refund money. What else? Maybe return, right? The object or the product, right? We can return it. The warranty, right? With the warranty, we can return the the object or the product that you are offering. It could be, maybe. Now, uh, well, I we you gave me some solutions. I was going to ask you to write for three solutions, but you already gave me give me a lot of solutions. Okay. And then wait a second before we go to that. I'm gonna go to the. Wait a second. Um, we are going to go to the manual because in the manual we have a little bit of a conversation, I guess. Wait a second. My manual got closed. What happened? Give me a second, please. Okay, so, okay, yes. In this case, as you can see, is uh, what options would you give to your customer? We already did this question to you, I'm sorry. Uh, now, as you can see here, we have a little bit of a uh, text, okay? We are going to read it, okay? So this is our refund form. Ese sería una un formulario de devolución. And it's from the somebody, Wartel Looks Inc. In Travers in 23, Glen Wayne, San Carlos, California, 0570. And then we have a note. Can you help me to read the note, please, Mr. Mauricio? I, I read. Yes, please. Okay. Note. Okay, no. Mm -hmm. One, please not. Weatherloop customer satisfaction warranty is 90, 90 day from day of pusher. Mm -hmm. Second, mm -hmm. time a copy of your record and close the original with the merchandise. Mm -hmm. Three, Three. Mm -hmm. use one line per item, all quantity are to be reported in each space. All item return will 
recurring the original order number record on the form so credit can be processed. Exactly, thank you. So that's the process that you have to follow if you have a, a refund, right? And then as you can see there, we have a little bit of a, a square, right? Like a grid, tenemos ahí un cuadro, right? And it says here, stock details. And then we have recent, recent code, item number, quantity, date of purchase, order number, relevant reason, okay? Ahí tenemos, este, este sería básicamente el formulario de un re devolución. Eh, de devolución. Thank you, mister. Y lo primero que se ve, si hay stock, es que hay en, en... Ay, oh my goodness, what would be the word? Stock, hábil, hábil o disponible, ¿ok? En inventario. En inventario, thank you. Tenemos, en eh, also remember that for the re refund policy, we have to have the date of purchase, right? We need to know that. Cuando hay una eh, área de, o hay un, una refund, siempre se tiene en cuenta el, la fecha de, de compra, ¿verdad? It's very, very important. And then uh, also it says here the order number, relevant reasons, eh, el número de orden y por qué se está uh, like the reason, right? It's being refound. Like it's been like again, right? The change. Obviously, like we were talking yesterday. Obviamente, como estábamos hablando ayer, vea. Here in El Salvador, we don't have returning policy or reform mm -hmm. policy. I think only one month. Or si no, we have to pay, right? Or si no, en algunos lugares, I know that uh, we have to pay, right, for the warranty. Right. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if you have seen that. For example, I know that in Siman, if you buy something in Siman, you have to pay for the warranty. I don't know if you know that. No sé si ya sabían eso. But there are some, some things like in there that you have to pay for the warranty. And it's like a lot of money. And so, and I don't know other places. No sé que otros lugares you have to pay or oh, it's free. I have a, I have an easy man. Oh, I really? have experience. Really? It, it's very, it's very good. Really? For... Is, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's is guarantee pays. Really? Yeah. Oh my God. Shine the product immediately. Really? Change the product. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah, for the warranty. Yeah. But you have to pay, right, mister? Yeah. Uh-huh, that's the only thing, but they change it like for a new one. It's true, me too. I, I already have good um, good uh, experience with Timan because of an earphone. So exactly, yeah. they, they were bad and they changed it for new. They were only new, yeah, that was perfect. Yeah. Yeah. And so it depends, right? Not all the places, not all the lugares, but yeah, some of them, yes. Now let's see here, we have two question and it says, what are the reasons that the customer wants a refund according to the reading? Dissatisfaction. Uh-huh, dissatisfaction. What else? Uh, do you think it's dissatisfaction in here? Missing part. Missing part, exactly. Missing part, exactly. Missing part. What else? And then we have another question here. Would the customer get the refund according to the reading section? What do you think? He would get it? ¿Creen ustedes que va a recibir su reembolso? It's Acuerdo. possible. Why? Why <laughs> do you think it is possible that he got, gets it? Maybe missing part. Mm -hmm. I think no, because I checked. Uh -huh. The product in the in el almacén. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about the other ones? What do you think? Mm -hmm. 
They are going to get the refund. Why? Because there are six, six products and maybe um, they can change it for a new one or maybe they can get the, the money, right? So yes, they are going to get it, okay? Now, and do we have any questions so far? As you can see, in this case, we are continuing with the product. Estamos continuando con lo de los productos, ¿verdad? And, but in this case, today, you are going to change or you are going to do something about it. Van a hacer algo para eh, un producto que pues está, eh, se están quejando las personas, ¿ok? And for this, we are going to use this very important topic that it was wood or would like to, okay? So let's start with would like to with positive sentences, okay? And would, and we are going to use would, okay? Or would like to, to express something that we really want, okay? Um, we have two type of phrases. We have would like to, and we have would, Okay, for uh, possibilities, okay? Would, it would be for possibilities and would like to, it would be like something that you really, really want. El would like to, vamos a utilizarlo para algo que nosotros realmente queremos, okay? O que deseamos. Y el would es para algo que se podría realizar. So here we have the different structure that we are going to create. The sentence is first, we have a subject, then we have would like to, and then we have a verb, and then sometimes we have a complement. Like for example, number one, help me to read please, Miss Rebecca. I would like to know how is the cost of booking here? I think it's what, what is the, I'm sorry. How is the cost? Very good, Miss. And this one, help me please with this one, Miss Abigail. Miss Abigail, are you there? Okay, yes. okay, number two. We would like to visit, visit it. that hotel. Visit, uh -huh. visit that hotel. that hotel. I have heard, heard uh -huh. that it is a five stars hotel. Thank you. Next one, help me please, Mr. Francisco, number three. Hello. Hello, Hello everybody. Uh -huh, everybody. Uh -huh. She would like to visit Europe, but it is important to find a, pl a place to stay and sleep. Exactly, very good. So I, I, as you can see in these sentences, they are expressing something that they really want. Okay, como pueden notar en estas oraciones están expresando algo que ellos de verdad quieren. Like for example, for in this really in like exactly moment, I want you to think in things that you really want right now. Okay, quiero que piensen ahorita. Okay, en cosas que realmente ustedes quieren. Okay, like for example, for me, I would like to drink, um, let's see, an iced tea, okay? Or maybe I would like to eat some pupusas because I'm hungry, <laughs> okay? So these are things that I really, really want right now. Estas son cosas que yo ahorita de verdad quiero o deseo, okay? Now for you, what things would you like in this moment? Mm -hmm. I would like to eat the pizza. Ah, to eat pizza. Oh, delicious. This moment. In this moment. Okay. Yeah. Yes, Mr. Delicious. Okay, another one. Another volunteer. Nobody? What? Uh huh. Nadie tiene desires or wants something right now. I would like mm -hmm. to go to the beach. Oh, I would like to go to the beach. Oh, nice, Miss. Ahorita que no está lloviendo, ¿verdad? What else? Mr. Juan José 
Would like eat sick pupusa. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Would like to eat six pupusas from Planet the Rendero, right? <laughs> yeah, of course. Obviously, right? Very good. Another <laughs> one? Those are delicious. I love the Planet the Rendero's pupusas. Uh huh. I would like uh -huh. to buy the new sunglasses. Sunglasses. Uh, new to buy new sunglasses, right? Sunglasses. Lentes. Yes. Lentes. Exactly. Sunglasses. Amazing. Very good. Very good. Or something like, for example, I would like to go to the concert. Tienen un montón de conciertos, so concert. I would like to go to the concert. Okay, anything else? As you can see, it doesn't matter which one is the subject. Uh-huh, yes, mister? <laughs> I wouldn't like drink beer. Oh, yes, exactly. You can express a negative. Uh, I wouldn't like to drink beer, it says. Okay, mister, in the negative way, well, in the next sentence, in the next presentation, <laughs> I think it was a negative, but yes, mister, aquí me la dijo, wouldn't, okay? To express mm. a negative, uh-huh. I would, I would like to mm -hmm. eat mango with lemon. <laughs> delicious. Very <laughs> delicious. Yes. Miss, I've been looking for mangoes like for over one month, I guess. <laughs> ya no hay. <laughs> Andado buscando, oh my goodness, ya no hay. And I want some mangoes. Yes, it's delicious with lemon. Ni modo with minutas me ha tocado. <laughs> because I want lemon. <laughs> okay, so anything else? I would like buy, I would like to buy uh -huh. a new apron. Oh, ah, air, earphones. Hey, oh, airphones. yes, Mr. Earphones. Very good. Earphones. Very good. Okay, recuerden, para expresar lo que ustedes desean. Okay? Questions yeah. right, right now? Any doubts, everybody? Questions, questions? No. Remember, would like to? It's to express something that you want, really desire, right? Then let's go with uh, the negative form. Y ahora sí vamos con las negativas. Eh, aunque el Mister ya me dio una idea, le dio una idea. Eh, we have first the subject, and then we have would not or wouldn't. Okay, en el negativo sería de la siguiente manera: wouldn't. Okay. Uy, 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 uy. Wouldn't and like to in plus a verb, right? And then here we have some sentences. Uh, can you help me to read the sentence, please? Number one, Miss Elizabeth Pineda. Um, I wouldn't work in the night. Oh, uh -huh. mm -hmm. no, Miss. Can you read mm -hmm. the sentence, please? Oh, okay. <laughs> I would not like to book in that hotel last time it was. It was uncomfortable and the service was the worst. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Thank you, Miss. Okay, so is he and uh, this person is expressing a negation, right? Thank you. Uh, that doesn't like it, doesn't want to. Next one, Mr. Jose Ezequiel. Which one? Number two, mister. Okay. I think they would not like to eat something from the hotel menu. They said the food is awful. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So they are expressing another that they don't like it, right? So they don't desire. Okay, now. Wait a second. Let's go. I'm gonna go to the whiteboard so we can write some sentences in negative. Ahora vamos a ir a la pizarra so you can write. Okay, so first we need a subject. Can you tell me one subject, please? I. Uh huh. And then what do we need after I for negative sentences? Wouldn't. Wouldn't, Wouldn't or yes. or. 
Would not. Would no. not. Would not. Exactly. Would not. And then we need a verb. A verb, exactly. And then sometimes we are going to use a complement, right? Y a veces pues vamos a utilizar un complemento, right? So let's see. Wait a second. So let's think of something that you really, really want right now. Like for example, I let's talk about another person like my mother, okay? My mother wouldn't like, uy, que me falta, uy, uy, uy. Wouldn't like to, uy, me faltó el two acá. So right here. Wouldn't like to stand up, okay, maybe. Wouldn't like to stand up because she's resting. Okay, another one for me, I wouldn't or would not, okay, like to hmm, study, study German, okay, because it's too difficult, right? So no, right now. Now for you, what about you, Miss, let's see, Miss Rebecca, something that you don't want right now. I wouldn't like to mm -hmm. drink. Uh -huh. uh, uh -huh. Milk. <laughs> oh, very good. Okay, drink milk. But me, some people say that milk is for to sleep. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. It's uh, well, some people, right? I don't know. Para mí ni el café means nothing. <laughs> nothing gives me sleepy. What about you, Miss Abigail Mejia? Tell me, Miss. I wouldn't like to eat uh -huh. um, like to... Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, one more time. I want like to drink green tea. Ah, green tea, okay. But green tea is very good, me. <laughs> but just, yeah, very good idea. Let's see now. What about you, Miss Lady? What do you think? You don't, something that you don't want. I would like to visit Mexico. Oh, I wouldn't like to visit Mexico, you say, right? Mexico. In negative means, lady? Mm. In negative, pero negativo means? No. Because it's negation, it's negation. So tell me something that you wouldn't like to do. Algo que no quieres hacer o que no, uh, no, no, like, you don't want. Swim in the sea. I'm um, sorry? <laughs> swim okay. in the sea. Okay, swim in the sea. Oh, good idea, mm -hmm. Miss. Thank you. Yeah. What about you, Mr. Uh, Juan Jose, something that you really like, wouldn't like to do right now? I wouldn't like to watch TV right now. Oh, okay. Watch TV right now. Thank you. And one more. Miss Kenya, something that you wouldn't like right now? I wouldn't like to eat seafood. Oh, definitely, Miss. You're going to get food poisoning if you eat in this night. <laughs> but very good. Okay, so here we are going to. Sh I am going to show you some words. I wouldn't like to see my dead. I oh, know, Miss. Don't say that, Miss. Don't say it. Cats are. They. Well, cats and dogs should be like infinitely, like without, like that, right? But suddenly they have to go. What would you like? What would you like to do? Oh, wait, I forgot to explain you the other one with like, only like. 
would, I'm sorry, I would, would, okay? And then we had would to express something that uh, you can do, right? Ahora vamos con el would, que es simplemente para expresar algo que podrías hacer, por ejemplo. Y en este caso sería el sujeto, el would y un verbo. Por ejemplo, I would eat, eh, I would eat any... I'm that. I'm sorry? I'm sorry? I'm that. All that, all that, like all, this? All that. Uh -huh. Ah, exactly. I would eat all of that because I am hungry. Or maybe you can say, they would do the homework. Ellos harán, okay? This is for, like, to express something that it's going to happen. You are capable of, okay? Ustedes son capaces de realizar. Uy. Or maybe you can say, we would, hmm, can you give me one verb, please? Sleep. Ah, we would sleep after the class, right? After the class, mm -hmm. not in the class, right? <laughs> okay, another one, it could be, hmm, I don't know what is happening. It's making me, okay, what else? Like, she would like, she would, sorry, a verb. Can you give me one verb, please? Okay. Look. Okay, she would look what? Her boyfriend. Ah, oh, she would look her boyfriend. Maybe meet with her boyfriend. Right? Se va a reunir con su novio, I think. She would meet her boyfriend, maybe it could be. We would, we would study for the midterm, right? You would do it, right? Right, yes. As you can see here, we have a subject, then in this case, we have would, and then we have a verb, okay? And then something to complement, right? Ahí tenemos un verbo, eh, primero tenemos el sujeto, después el would, después el verbo y después algo para complementar, ¿verdad? para expresar algo que podría suceder, right? Um, questions, do we have any questions? In the negative, it would be wouldn't, right? But do we have any questions? Questions? No. Okay. It clear as water or clear as water of a chata? <laughs> I think it's clear like water, right? Very clear. Uh, very clear. Okay, let's see. Here, I am going to show you some pictures and it says, what would you like to do? And you can use would or wouldn't, or you can use would like to as well. Uh, so here we have, what would you like to do next summer? According to Anne, Anne, aquí está Anne. ¿Qué creen que quiere, que quiere? ¿Cuál es el deseo de Anne aquí en esta imagen que pueden ver ahí? Can you tell me? She go would like to go to the beach. Uh -huh. Go to the beach. What else? Puede hacer muchas cosas. Puede nadar. So how would be this one? Enjoy the sun. Ah, she would like to enjoy the sun. She would like to take the sun. Oh, she would like to take the sun. Anything else? She would like to... How do you say surfear? Surf. Oh, surf. Mm -hmm. Surf. Okay, so I... Okay, according to this, it would be I would like to... Well, she would like to go to the beach. Very good. Okay, let's see this one. What would you like to do at the beach according to the... Well, to this picture. She would. She would like to swim okay. with dolphins. Uh, she would like to swim with the dolphins. Okay, very good. Any other idea? Mm -hmm. Any other ideas? Go to your state, 
Uh -huh. Ah, social. Oh, I already told you, ya les mencioné una clase anterior, yo me acuerdo. Dive. 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 I'm sorry. Dive. Dive. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sorry. Okay, no problem is, <laughs> but you remember. Uh -huh. so, ¿cómo sería? Um, she, she would like to dive. Dive, exactly. Okay, so I have. Oh, yeah. Okay, in this one I have, I would like, well, I would swim with dolphins, okay? Uh, why it's like that? Because it says would, okay? It doesn't say would like to, but a, a good idea though. Next one. What about you, Peter? Oh, negative. How will it be for Peter? He wouldn't. Wouldn't like to go to the beach. Oh, he wouldn't like to go uh -huh, to go to the beach. Okay, let's see. It would be okay. He wouldn't like to go to the beach. Exactly. What would you like to do next summer? Okay, according to this picture, would you like? Uh huh. What do you think? I would like to go to the mountains. Yeah. To climb. To climb. Climb the mountains. Yes, very good. Dania, what do you think? What would you like? What would you like to do next summer according to the pictures? He would like to uh, be the place cool. Be in a cold place? Yes. Be in a cold place. Okay, let's see. I have, I would, I would like to go to the mountains. Very good ideas though. Thank you. What would you do there? What would you do? Do. I how do you say como de para what do you say what sorry para caída pero ese no es para caída es camping camping ah, camp ah I, I, I you think uh -huh. the airplane <laughs> no pero bueno y para caída sería sky diving ok Okay, so uh -huh. I would like to camping. Ah, okay. I would like to do camping. Okay. To do camp. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Well, I have. I would. I would sleep in a tent. Uh huh. Because it, as you can see, meaning cuando no tenga like, solo tenga el wood. It, it refers that you only use would, okay, in the answer. Se refiere que pues solo utilizas el would para responder, ¿verdad? So, yeah, let's go in next one. Here, what would you like to do on your birthday? Oh, N, N, okay. I would like play with children. We would like to mm, do a party. Do a party, maybe. Yes, yeah, very good idea. Mm -hmm. We would like to eat the cake. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other ideas? I would like to share with my family. Ah, mm -hmm. very good. Okay, so I have for this one, I oh, would yeah. I would like to have a party with my friends, but good job. This one, what would you do, do at your birthday party? Oh, the leash you. I will eat pizza. 
I'm sorry. I will eat pizza. Oh, very good. I will eat pizza. I would like to eat a big piece of pizza. Ah, okay. I would like to, but it says only would. Hmm. You would like to eat pizza, maybe. <laughs> like that one. Ojalá existiera this kind of pizza here in San Miguel or in Salvador. It doesn't exist, only like small pieces, sadly. Or no sé si in San Salvador, maybe. No. Verdad que no hay así de grandes. La libertad. Slice pizza. Really? Hay un lugar que venden una gran pizza. Una prashma. No. Ni prashma had that pizza, no. Pero así, the big sí. one, no. Sí. En un centro comercial que está por el paseo. O no, está por, por la calle La Mascota, creo que es. No, está por donde, sí. donde está, sí. Eh, sí, está la Calaca. La... Donde está la Calaca, Ajá. que es el mismo sí, restaurante. Y así sí. es de grande. Yes, de sí. big size. Yes, a big. Really? Yes, a big. really? Yes, I'm gonna look for it. I'm gonna look for it because it's, it looks delicious. Maybe it's delicious. <laughs> okay, but like the sentence, the sentence that you said, very good. It, it says, like I, uh -huh, I would eat a pizza. Okay. Por qué? Miren, acá, I would like pizza. It's good. Yes. But in this case, if we have the question with only wood, it would be. The answer has to be only with wood, okay? Si tenemos la pregunta con el wood, la respuesta tiene que ser solo con el wood, okay? Si dice would like, la respuesta tiene que ser con would like, okay? Mm -hmm. Let's see mm -hmm. this one. What about Peter? Oh, Peter doesn't want pizza. So, ¿cómo sería con el wood? He wouldn't eat pizza. Okay, he wouldn't eat pizza. Anything else? What about the other ones? Mm -hmm. Negative form in this case. Mm -hmm. He wouldn't. I oh, would not oh, eat yeah. pizza. He would not eat pizza. Yeah, that's the one he she mentions, but very good. Thank you, mister. What would you eat then? Huh? Uh -huh. He would eat ice cream. Ah, okay. Oh, yeah. Yes, he would eat an ice cream. What would you like to do at the weekend, Anne? Mm -hmm. I would he like would to like go. to go to uh, Sunset Park. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sunset okay. Park. Okay, another one. How do you say redas? Do you know how to say redas in English? Roller coasters, okay? Así como la, las rollers, I mean, how do you call it? Las coasters, que decimos. <laughs> well, in San Salvador, it doesn't exist, but here in San Luis, they do exist still, okay? So the roller coasters, okay? Or also they are called fair. Remember that we were talking about the fair, okay? Oh no, it was not with you. The fair, it's another one, La fe, like feria, right? Fair. So mm -hmm. it would be, how will be the sentence then? Mm -hmm. I would like to go a fair. Okay, I would like to go to the fair. Mm -hmm. Any other ideas?
I would like to buy a crazy corn. A crazy corn, okay. <laughs> oh, el hotel loco, right? Oh, yeah. I would like to go to the theme park. Oh, yes, I forgot about this one, theme park. What about this one? What would you do at the theme park? According to the pictures. Alcohol. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you say sugar? Uh, get in the, I would like to get in the. Get up. Uh -huh. Get, get. Up. Mm, I would get. Get on. Um, in the roller coasters, maybe? Uh -huh. Carrosa. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, in the roller coaster. I would like uh -huh. to buy merchandise. Oh, very good. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I will go on rides. Okay, oh, that's another one. Rides. Next one. It would be, what about Peter? Peter no se quiere subir, so, hmm. So? Peter Gooden. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, Okay, go on the right. Go on the right. Uh -huh. Any other idea? So I have, I wouldn't okay. like to go on that. I mean, I wouldn't like to go to the theme park. What a, what would you do at the weekend? I, I, would, I would visit the yeah. church. Okay, visit the, the church. Church. Oh, church. Ah, okay. Iglesia. Uh huh. I would. Go to the cinema. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yes, I will go to the cinema. Very good. What type of film would you, would you see? Hmm. And the last one. What type? I would see. Uh -huh. How do you say caricatura or Mickey Cartoon. Mouse? I would see. Cartoons. Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Cartoon. Cartoons. Okay. Or maybe, yeah, Mickey Mouse, it could be. Mickey Mouse. Okay. So I have, I would see oh, yeah. an animated film. It's another one. Oh, uh -huh. Uh -huh, una película animada, animated film. Very good. Do we have any questions so far? Ah, como pudieron notar, durante todas las, la práctica que acabamos de hacer, utilizaban el would like y el would, right? Cuando nuestras preguntas sean con el would like, we have to answer with would like. If it is with would, we have to answer with would, okay? Mm -hmm. Let's go and continue. Oh, let's go to the, now to, again to the, what was the name? I forgot. The manual. In, in the manual, oh. Oh, what is happening? Wait. In the manual, here we have these more examples here using would and would like. Can you help me to read? I haven't heard. Uh, Dilcia Yamilet, can you read the first ones with would like? Would, sorry. I would change this product. Mm -hmm. He would buy there again mm -hmm. we will won't no will stay in this 
place. Mm -hmm. Would you give me your information? Yes, thank you. And then we have would like. Mr. Jorge, help me to read, please. Okay, can you help me, please? Uh -uh. Miss Sandra? I don't know if you can speak. Yes, it's okay, you. thank you. <clears throat> I would like to change this product. Mm -hmm. He would like to buy there again. Mm -hmm. They will, they will, will go. Wouldn't? Wouldn't? Wouldn't. Uh -huh. They wouldn't like to come back here. Here. Very good. Here. Thank you, Miss. Okay, as you can see here, Como pueden notar, we have also questions and I didn't put them. I forgot about the questions, but look, the questions are super simple, okay? Questions are always used, would at the beginning, okay? Para las preguntas siempre vamos a utilizar el would al principio. Then we have a subject and then in the case of would, we are going to use a verb. In the case of would like, first we use would, then you use a subject and then you use like two and then a verb okay we are going to do a little bit of practice later with the would uh, like to but before we do that wait i think yeah so here we have some as you can see we have one to six six sentences that we have to complete with would like to and well it says complete the statements or questions with i think with your own ideas okay so basically i would like to what do you would like to I want you to complete these uh, uh, questions and sentences with your own ideas, please. Quiero que complementen con sus propias ideas. So, uh, and for this, I'm gonna give you three minutes, okay? So you can complete with your own ideas. Te puedo dar tres minutos para que puedan complementar con sus propias ideas. So let's do it, please. Three minutes. Let me know when you're finished, please. Remember that you're going to complete with your own ideas. Like for example, I would like to drink an a la, latte okay or maybe uh, mr trujillo wouldn't like or maybe wouldn't uh work tomorrow something like that okay
Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. Why using word in the file? Oh no, the that file. is a mis it's a mistake, miss. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's for the it's manual. The signs and the six. Yes, it wouldn't. She wouldn't. Oh wait, let me let me do it one more time because my letters wouldn't. Okay. She wouldn't, okay? It would be wouldn't. <laughs> there you have it. She wouldn't. And also with yeah, number, six. yeah, also number six, sorry. It would be would. Would you like to? Finish or not finish? I think we're not finished then. Ready? One more minute, okay? So we can complete the ideas. Okay, what do you have for number one, please, Miss Abigail Mejia, number one? Hi. I, uh -huh. I would like to change this back. To change, change. Change the cambio, change this back. Ah, okay, thank you, bag. Number two, what do you have for number two, Miss Elizabeth? Mr. Trujillo says here, wouldn't? Um, Mr. Trujillo wouldn't like to work in the night. Ah, work in the night. Thank you, very good. <laughs> Let's see next one. Can you help me please, Mr. Jorge, number three? 
Okay, I don't know what happened. Yeah. Oh, there, Mr. Jorge Diaz, yes, tell me. Number three, will she? Will she visit to the Spain? Will she visit the Spain? Okay, it could be, thank you. Let's see, number four, please, Mr. Jose Ezequiel. Jose, Mr. Jose Ezequiel. Yes, miss. Okay, number four. Would would like we would like to travel to China. Oh, travel to China. Travel to China. Thank you, Mr. Let's see number five. Please, please. It would be Miss Michelle. She wouldn't. She wouldn't read to science book. She wouldn't read the science book. The yes. science book. Okay, thank you, Miss. Let's see next one. Miss Rebecca, number six, sorry. Would you like to sleep early? Ah, very good. What about one more? Thank you, Miss. Number one, one more time is Sandra. What do you have in number one? Uh, I would like to travel to Europe. Okay, travel to Europe. Oh, nice. Let's see next one, Mr. Mauricio, number two. Uh, Mr. Trujillo wouldn't mm -hmm. stay in this park. In this? Park. Park. Oh, park. very good. In this park. Thank you. Number three. Help me, please. Uh, Miss Abigail Ponia. Would she? Hello. Miss Abigail, okay, let's see next one. Can you help me please? Miss Dania, number three. Would she go to the party? Okay, would she go to the party? Thank you, Miss. The party. Next one, Miss Dilsia Yamilet, number four. We, we, we would like mm -hmm. to, to go to the beach. Go to the beach, okay. Mm, let's see, very good, Miss. Ay, que me falta. Oh, Mr. Francisco, number, please, number five. She wouldn't stay in her workplace. Ah, very good. Mr. Juan Jose, number six. Would you like to go to dinner with me? Oh, very good, mister. Thank you. Let's see next one. And in the last practice, okay, that I am going to do is that you have to create questions as you could see, como pudieron ver, ahí tenemos unas preguntas, pero I, mean, I forgot to explain you the questions, but right now we are going to do it, okay? How do we do it? Would, ¿cómo hacemos con las preguntas? Primero tenemos el would, después tenemos el sujeto. Like for example, would you, and then, if you're using only would, si solo están utilizando el would, pues no utilizamos otro, um, no utilizamos el like, sino que sería otro verbo. Por ejemplo, would you, hmm, would you, would you work, would you work tomorrow? Tomorrow. And then you say, yes, I would, or no, I wouldn't, okay? 
this, in this case, en este caso, ya sea para el would like o para el would, vamos a utilizar las mismas respuestas, ok? And then, look at the order of the question. Miren el orden de la pregunta. So, first is would, then you have the subject, then we have the verb, and then a complement. And for the would like, it would be would you like, oh, I'm sorry, like to, uh, would you like to clean the house? And then you can say, yes, I would, or no, I wouldn't, right? The same answers. The only thing that changes, lo único que va a cambiar sería el like too, right? And then we have the verb, okay? Like for example, Miss mm, Lady, would you like to see a movie? Yes, I would. Oh, nice. What about you, Miss Kenya? Would you like to, would you, would you run tomorrow? Would you run tomorrow? No, I wouldn't. Okay. Let's see, Miss Michelle, will you call your dad? Again, please. Would you call call your dad, dad or your father? Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, yes, you would. <laughs> okay, let's see, next one. Uh, it would be Miss Sandra, would you? Would you swim in the ocean? Swim in the ocean. Yes, I would. Oh, nice. What about you, Mr. Mauricio? Would you sing in the class? Yes, I would. Oh, nice. Now we know, <laughs> mister. Now we know that you will sing. Let's see, Miss Elizabeth Pinel. Would you like to drink some Coca-Cola right now? No, I wouldn't. Oh, okay, good to know. Healthy, right? We have to be healthy, but we are not healthy. <laughs> I don't know why we're not healthy. Okay, so do we have any questions so far, you guys? Questions, questions. Questions, doubts, comments? Yes, Miss Rebecca, tell me. Pero en la, las lecciones hay errores, va, para resolver la tarea. Yes, right now I have found, in, in esta del would like, he encontrado cuatro errores. Cuatro errores que son dos que me mandó, bueno, dos que me mencionó Mr. Mauricio y dos que me mencionó, parece que Miss Lady ayer, o quién fue, que me mandó mensajes, Miss Lady fue, o no, me confirma a mí, o quién fue, que me mandaron fotos de, de uno, del midterm, me parece que ya vamos a ver, espérenme, midterm, es que alguien me mandó un mensaje ayer, pero no me acuerdo quién fue. Que, Abigail Mejía. Oh, mis amigas del Mejía, que okay. este, me recuerdo que usted me mandó una imagen de un, de un eh, ejercicio que tienen que escribir el orden de la oración y le falta el like, ¿verdad? Yes. Ajá, en dos, en una es en el míster y otra es en el ejercicio de la sección número dos. Vaya, en este caso, yo les voy a recomendar que ustedes escriban el like, porque cuando tengan el tú, vean, en la oración, no en todas, porque ya saben que no es en todas, solo cuando tenga el tú, deben de agregar el like. Eh, porque yo ya, yo ya informé sobre el caso, entonces, pero se supone que ya lo habían cambiado, pero I don't know what happened. Mañana lo voy a volver a reportar. No sé si han trabajado, because remember tomorrow section two and the midterm. Tomorrow you have to fin be finished, okay? So yes, uh, do we have any questions? Any other questions? Ah, sí, sí, yo sé que eso, bueno, igual como pudieron ver el manual, I'm sorry, también estaba mal hace unos minutos. Uh -huh, but yes, I'm sorry. Si tienen alguna duda, no tengan pena, siempre me pueden escribir en WhatsApp. Si ven algo malo en la plataforma, avísenme, porque lo tienen que cambiar, porque si no, pues se sigue viendo el mismo error. Pues yo igual mañana, pues como les digo, lo voy a, lo voy a reportar para que a ustedes pues ya no les vuelva a aparecer. Aunque algunos pues ya lo terminaron, ¿verdad? So, uh -huh. Pero no tengan pena, me pueden escribir. 
A veces me tardo cinco minutos, diez minutos, una hora, pero siempre contesto, ¿ok? I always answer the phone and the text, ¿ok? Uh, and you can eh, ask me about the platform. Me pueden, pues, ahí ver, decir, mis, mire, esto está sucediendo con la plataforma, o, o ayúdeme con este ejercicio. Yo con gusto les ayudo, ¿ok? O, o con algo, vea, igual, si no entienden. Questions, doubts, comments. As you can see here, we have a little bit of practice. It says, try find line paragraph about what would you do in case a customer wants the refund due to a bad service or product he, she paid, okay? Este, van a escribir un pequeño párrafo de five lines, okay? About what would you do que ustedes harían en el caso de que el client or customer wants a refund, quiera un eh, reembolso, ¿verdad? Por el hecho de que tiene un mal servicio o el producto que, por el producto o el servicio que ya eh, está pagando. Ella o él, vea, We don't know. So, in this case, how are you going to do it? First, you're going to write the problem. Primero van a escribir el problema. Por, ex, por ejemplo, bad Bad battery life. Esto casi siempre sucede con los teléfonos, por ejemplo. Bad battery life. And what would you do? ¿Qué ustedes harían? Oh, I would uh, change her, uh, digamos que sea Shiva, cell phone for a new one. For a new one. I would give back uh, the money. Uh, or maybe I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like to return the money anyways, but I have to do it, right? <laughs> return the money, okay? So like that, you have to write a five lines paragraph, okay? So for this, I am going to give you, let's see, five minutes, okay? So you can work on this, okay? Remember, you have to think of what you do if you have a refund. ¿Qué harían si tuvieran que hacer una devolución? So when you finish writing this down, you have to send it on WhatsApp. So I'm going to give you five minutes, okay? Five minutes so you can work on this. If you have any questions, let me know. Si tienen alguna duda o pregunta, me lo hacen saber. I'm sorry, mister. Do you have any questions? No, no, no. Okay. Remember that when you finish doing, what will you do? Después de que termine de, de resolver, ¿qué es lo que ustedes harían? Because remember, this could happen to you. Recuerden que eso podría sucederles a ustedes. ¿Qué harían? What will you do? Hmm, I would give the money, I would help, okay? I would like to change something and like that.
One more minute. If remember, if you finish, you have to send me the picture of the text so I can check it out, please. Teacher. Yes, mister. Um, do we have to create the problem and at the same time do we have to solve it? Yes, exactly, mister. Uh, like like I did here. Like for example, I did here bad battery life. Okay, okay. Uh -huh, please. Because my money or the money i will the return money. Uh -huh, the money i will give other alternative but mister it was like a little paragraph for example it would be i will give other alternatives and i will solve the problem uh -huh. solo esa la de i will return the money and i would give other alternatives that would be the exactly like the solution for that one. But thank you, very good. Okay, while you do that, I'm gonna do a tenant section. Mientras ustedes termina, voy a hacer sección de asistencia. Please say presente. Abigail Mejia. Present. Thank you. Andrea Amalia. Dania Lisbeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Bilcia Yamilet. Present teacher. Thank you. Esmeralda del Carmen. Francisco Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you. Jorge Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Ezequiel. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Mm -hmm. Juan Jose. Present teacher. Thank you. Kenya Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Lady Xiomara. Present teacher. Thank you. Mauricio Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Thank you. Rebecca Guadalupe. Present. Thank you. Sandra Miguel. Sandra Vigail, mm, se salió ya la mí. Sandra Patricia. Present teacher. Thank you. Stephanie Michel. Present teacher. Thank you. No mencioné a alguien o oh, everybody. Yeah, I did. Okay. Um, give me one second. I will change the microphone. Mm, okay, very good, me, Rebecca. Thank you. Let's see, Miss Michelle. Recommend. Recommend. Wait for five minutes. I will ask to turn it up. Yes, very good, Miss Michelle. Thank you. I wouldn't like to return the money. I wouldn't like to change your plan. <laughs> I would, I would too. Hmm, I would make general maintenance means. 
maintenance, maintenance. Pero ¿por qué me puse el tú ahí, mis? So sería, I would make general maintenance. Miss Lady. Sorry. Aquí, ya me, ya me entendió dónde, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. Yes. Ok. And then the other one, and I would change again there. Es que el, tú lo vamos a utilizar más que todo con el like. Mm, okay. uh -huh. Thank you, but very good. The rest is perfect, Miss Lady. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. Hey, Air fryer. I will go to the store and explain what happened real quick. But you, what will you do? Pero ustedes, o sea, aquí están ustedes, son los que tienen una empresa. Digamos que ustedes tienen un Omnis por un, un Sambers, un Simán, un Prisma Moda. And what would you do? ¿Y qué es que harían si llegaran y les reclamaran? Like for a product, ¿ok? Thank you, Miss Sandra. Has the screen raised? Raise. What, what, like what, Miss Elizabeth? I don't understand. Perdón. What? Like what? Se dice ahí the the cell phone has the screen raised. What is that? Raised. Uh huh. Levantado. Oh, okay. Or lift. Uh -huh. I would like to to offer. Ah, to offer to offer you these options. Your cell phone will change at the store. I would. Very good, Miss. Thank you. You have maybe Tigo, Tigor or, or, or Movistar. That's why. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Don't worry. Blender, I would like to change the product. I would like to improve the quality of the product. I would like to. I would like the money back. I would like the money back. Yeah. Very good, Miss DLC. I think, yeah, Dilce Yamilet. And then we have Mr. Francisco. I will change for premium service. Yes, very good, Mr. Francisco. Pero recuerden que eran ustedes. Ustedes eran los dueños de este lugar. Y ustedes llegaba alguien y les decía, I want to change my AirPods. They don't work. I don't like them. Ah, y ustedes le, le empezaban a ofrecer. Y lo que querían era que ustedes les ofrecieran tipos de cambio. Uh, screen feeding itself, I would send the cell phone to the dealer. Two months? No, I don't want it back. I would change this over another in three weeks. What? No, sin teléfono, three weeks? No. It's <laughs> real. Yeah, it's true, it's real. When you have a cell phone and it doesn't work, oh my goodness, it takes a lot of time. And I would ask what mm, doesn't like, maybe I could refer him with other doctor. I would refer the specialist. I would return the money. <laughs> yes, very good, Miss Dania. Dania, Dania. Crowning a hole in a church. A hole? Un hoyo? Mister. Okay, so hold, it would be, it's not like that because holy is esperar. Uh, uh -huh. it's, it's different, mister, the word. It would be H-O-L-L, -L, I guess. Give me one second so I can cha change it. Or... Yeah, it's no, so it's H O L E. Holy. Oh, I will change. The okay. Uh, yes, very good for the other ideas.
Okay, and then, so I think if most of you have finished, okay, before we finish, because we have like 12 minutes, we have time. So as you can see here, we have a practice time. What are you going to do? We are going to create, it says here, take turns. Think of a, something that you really, really want in this moment. And you're going to create a conversation like what? And so you're going to start with like the question. The question would be like something similar like this. Uh, what would you want? What would you want? Okay. And then you will start. I would want, I would, I would, sorry. I would like to travel to Europe or travel to USA. Okay. And so you have to take terms to ask and answer this question. ¿Qué es lo que usted, or what would you like? It could be here. Okay. Este, van a, o sea, van a, a trabajar en parejas porque deben de preguntarse. What things would you want? Like, would you like to eat? Would you like to travel? Would you like to drink? Would you like to see or watch in the TV or to read? Okay. Every type of question that you could do, what would you, for example, you can say, what would, would you watch on TV? What would you watch on TV? Let's see, let's do a practice. Mr. Mauricio, what would you watch on TV right now? For example. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh I would, mm -hmm. I would uh, like, no, I would watch, watch mm -hmm. Netflix. Ah, Netflix, great. And you, <laughs> remember? Uh, remember to continue the conversation? What will you say? And you? And you, okay, thank you, Mr. <laughs> <laughs> I would I would watch maybe uh, let's see YouTube. I would watch YouTube, okay? Some okay. YouTubers, okay? Good. Okay. What would ahora usted me puede hacer otra pregunta using would or would like? Mister? What would you like to do in the last night? In in this night. For tonight. This night, perdón. Ah, okay, night. no problem. Ah, I would like to. Hmm, I would like to watch a movie and eat some pork crumbs. Okay, I want to do that. <laughs> Maybe I do it later. Okay, great. And so you have to continue. Y recuerden que debemos de dar continuación porque I've been noticing, he estado notando que nosotros hacemos, o sea, todos están haciendo las conversaciones, you do them very good, los hacemos muy bien, pero no preguntamos a nuestros compañeros, and you, mm -hmm. you don't continue the conversation, se quedan ahí, hasta ahí se quedan, and remember that I told you that you have to do more following questions, ok, ellos tienen que crear más preguntas, try to improvise, ok, I know you can do it, ok, Do you understand what you're going to do? But entienden lo que van a hacer? Van a utilizar preguntas como what would you, what would you, y un verbo extra, o what would you like to eat, for example, o what would you like to drink, ok, y siempre para preguntar a nuestro compañero, and you? Cuando nos, cuando nos responde, sorry, cuando nos responda, and you? Yes? I'm gonna, I'm gonna show the questions again so you can have an idea. Oh, I didn't have this. Okay, so sería the question, what would you, I'm sorry, and then I'm going to leave a space or what would you like to, and then it would be another verb, okay? Remember that in here you have to complete with another verb. Recuerden que ahí pues vamos a complementar con un verbo. Ustedes van a poner ahí la idea, okay? De lo que quieren preguntar. Questions. Questions, questions. No. Okay. Uh, yeah. Excuse me. Eh, solamente quiero eh, con respecto al tú que yo había puesto en el ejercicio. Uh -huh. Solo lo vamos a agregar cuando 
tengamos eh, el like. Tenemos el like to. Eh, exactly. Sí, siempre mm. solo con el like to. Si te fijas en el would, solo utilizas otro verbo, más no el to. Ok. Mm. Uh -huh. mm. Ok. Sí. No problem. El would sería con el otro verbo y si tenemos el would like to, ok, ahí sería con el to, el like to. Ok, so let me go ahead and create the rooms. For this activity, you will have only three minutes because it's almost time, ok, three minutes. And you can do at least uh, two questions, ok. So let's go, wait a second. Okay, practice, practice, okay? Mr. Jose Ezequiel, can you accept the invitation, please? I would like to eat um, popcorn. And you? Now. If you want to ask me another question. Do you like to travel to the USA? Or another? I like the hamburger. Mm -hmm. the ham I like the hamburger. Mm. In the breakfast. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. It's my favorite food. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, for example, I like the pupusas. Oh, okay. You, um, Elizabeth? I like... Um, I like rest of the week. <laughs> okay. And <laughs> tapish. And you? Uh, for vacation, for my next vacation, I would like to travel to other country and I will then want to work for inventories in my company. <laughs> I only want to relax. <laughs> okay, very good. Okay, <laughs> what would you like to listen to? What, what would you like to do this weekend? I like work to active beach. Mm, excellent. And you? I would like to visit that zoo. Zoológico. <laughs> okay, and What's what average? about... The what French about you? Do you like, uh, would you like to learn other language? Uh, I would like to learn the Italian because I speak a Portuguese and a little bit of English. I, want, I, would, I, I, I like to learn Italian. Okay. <laughs> that sounds great. <laughs> yeah.
travel to Spain. I like Spain. Spain. And, and Greece. Okay. Para mis 15 años, mis papás me regalaron un viaje a España. Really? <laughs> a Europa. O sea, de hecho, fuimos a un encuentro, a una jornada mundial de la juventud. Wow, it's amazing. En, uh -huh, Where? Entonces, era un, ah, hace poquito, 1990. Oh, ok, ok. Aún... Okay, let's wait for a little bit for the other ones. I heard you were speaking. Wow, amazing that you were sharing your experiences. Algunos estaban hasta compartiendo las experiences they had with would and would like to. That's amazing. Thank you for doing it. And I want I would like to hear like maybe two or three of you, and I want you to tell me what things your classmates said, okay? Quiero escuchar qué dijeron sus compañeros, okay? What things they want or would like to, okay? Let's start with, I want to listen to Miss Dania. Dania, tell me uh, one sentence of your classmates. What do they say they would like or would do or something? Miss Dania? Hello, Miss Dania. Okay, so what about you, Miss Michelle Oviedo? Tell me one sentence that your classmates said, please. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, the first sentence is, yeah. what What will you deny? Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Yes, and to, to, a ver, dos respuestas fueron. Yeah, two answers. I, uh -huh. Two answers, thanks. Okay. Uh, I would like I would like to sleep. Okay. And I would like to study English. Okay, amazing. Somebody was... <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you. Let's see, one more. And it would be thank you, Mr. Mauricio. Tell me the answers that you have. Vamos a ver las respuestas que obtuvo Mr. Mauricio. Mr. Mauricio, I cannot hear you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay, thank you. Uh, I work uh -huh. with uh, Michelle Oviedo. Okay. The same the question. Okay. What do you like to go in a weekend? Uh huh. Okay. And what was the answer? I, the answer. Mm -hmm. I would go to the beach. Mm -hmm. I would like to play the guitar. Okay. The Mr. Oviedo. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah. Uh -huh. In the other answer, uh -huh. no copy. No copy the answer? No. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay, Mr. Very good. Okay, so that was perfect. Thank you, everybody. I heard you that you were practicing. That's amazing. Thank you for doing all the practice that you do. Gracias porque hacen toda la práctica que pues, les traigo, obviamente. And I hope you continue like that, okay? Now, we are going to stay here. Nos vamos a quedar por acá. And we are going to continue tomorrow, okay? Thank you, everybody, for coming. Gracias a todos por venir. And I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. Have a good night. Bye. Take bye. care. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night. Take care. Bye. Good night. Good night, Take night care. everybody. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.